Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Me and my friends, we've had some fun in the recent days. We've been playtesting Novak's racket, which there is a video about already on the channel. I want to point out to you who like to point out stuff. I know that Novak uses natural gut in the mains. I put the multifilament that I had in the crosses because I prefer that because I wanted to play with it. I've played with Novak's racket before and his actual string setup and so on. So it was more of a fun thing for me to do. And I don't have natural gut at home. So I also with Andy's racket made a similar string setup as far as I could. All the power in the mains. And then I used a Prince multi in the crosses. A multi is not as good as natural gut to be fair but it's as close as you can get and this premium one from prince is pretty good so and this racket it's a pt57a even says on the racket this is the radical pro u tech paint job he's using the graphene 360 cosmetic he has not opted for the graphene 360 plus design which is very orange Perhaps he doesn't like it, I don't know. Very nice racket, but extremely heavy. Uh, the PT57A, the, based on the Head Pro Tour, this is the Pro Stock code that a lot of people on forums and, and so on talk about. Why? Because the feeling of this frame is very, very good. You have a very nice, plush, pillowy sensation in the string bed, but you still have maximum control. The issue with these rackets is to get power and it's not much in terms of forgiveness so you really need to hit the ball in the sweet spot over and over again and the sweet spot is not huge but it's very sweet so that's why so many players like these they kind of help you to improve your tennis in a way but it can also be quite demanding and sometimes against players you feel like you don't have enough power i feel that over and over again i have my own pt57 a's that are customized for my game do love them but I sometimes struggle with power, obviously, because I'm not quite the player that should, should use these rackets. I, I really enjoy playing with my one well, few of my gems in the collection. And I completely understand why Andy did not like to change to something else. He really loves his PT57A. He uses the 1619 pattern, so a bit more open. The standard version of the Head Pro Tour 630 or 280 was sold as 1820. And he wanted a bit more spin, power, and forgiveness. So he added 1619. The change is small, but still it, it's there. You do feel a bit of a power difference with these two patterns. I play the 1820. And this one, uh, very hefty swing weight. And he likes to have a lot of weight up here. And that's the only way really to get any power out of the PT57A. So you can string them quite low. Uh, for many players who love these, I would recommend maybe using a shaped polyester at a very low tension to open up the sweet spot a bit and get a bit more lift on the shots. I find that works pretty well for me. But overall, he doesn't need that. Obviously, he hits the ball super clean. Defensive baseline, uh, threads the needle, plays all court tennis. This racket gives you the possibility to do that, but only if you have the skill of these kind of pro players like Andy. He really is a magician with finding his spots and uh, and also running around the court, obviously. There's been discussions whether he should have tried to play more aggressively. I've kind of been pushing that myself uh, or maybe change to a bigger head size, which he tried for a while, but in the end he decided to come back home to his frame. And you have the specs of this racket on the video here and uh, it's nothing I'd recommend any kind of recreational players to try although we had fun trying it but the specs are fun for trying not really for playing point sets matches and so on uh, so Matthew tried it with me you will hear his comments in the video I had G, Buzz all try these rackets Agassi, Novak and Mare they all chose one favorite out of them and uh, Matthew really liked the, the Mario one. He felt like, especially on the double-handed backhand, that's where it really shone because the racket really pummels through the ball. So not for me. My one-handed backhand did not feel at home with this frame, with the weight and the balance being the way it is. Uh, I prefer my other PT57As where I feel more at home, easier to swing. This one is too much. I feel like I'm often late on the ball due to my own technique, not the racket. Racket is fantastic, but it's not going to be very forgiving for anyone, even a pro. So Andy needs to put in the work in the gym, make sure his footwork is top class, even to play with this 
but this is obviously something he's used for so many years. And the frame, as you might know, it's 30 years old, the PT57A Head Pro Tour. It's a legend. Many want to buy one or try one. I understand that, but they are very demanding. And uh, yeah, not something I generally recommend you to chase down. There is a Head Pro Tour 2.0, which gives you a tiny bit more power. I think that was a good re-release. So that one is quite cheap as well. So you can find that one on Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, for example. So check that out. But uh, it's not quite as plush and nice on impact as the PT57A or the Head Pro Tour 630. But then it, that comes with a lack of power as well. So this is Andy's frame. The way this racket works so well for Andy's game is that it gives him pinpoint precision to hit a passing shot to give exactly the shot he wants to play. He plays very all-court, all crafty tennis, slice, mixes it up, can hit heavier ground strokes as well, but he mixes it up and this racket provides him ultimate control and feel, which is what he likes and needs and works well for his game. It's not something you'd give to Carlos Alcaraz. I don't think he'd have a good time with this frame or even Rafael Nadal. It would be fun to see a tournament where all the pros have to change rackets. So if Rafa plays Novak, they have to change rackets. If Roger plays Andy, they have to change rackets. If Carlos Alcaraz plays Yannick Sinner, they have to change rackets. And we see what happens, how different it would be and what the results would be. That would be a really fun thing for tennis nerds to witness, I think. Let me know what you think of this idea in the comments below. So Matthew, you tried the, the Mari personal racket. What do you think about it? I felt like it's quite a solid racket to be fair, obviously. It doesn't give you much for free. You have to generate all the power yourself, you know, if you're a bit late or you don't time it perfectly, you don't have the same forgiveness which you have on other rackets, you know. Like, I play the Pure Aero VS usually, obviously a completely different racket. But, like, compared to other control rackets, such as the Blade, for example, or the Prestige, you get even less on this. So, like, if you're, if you're not timing it perfectly, if you're not moving through the ball, I felt like, my balls are dropping short or in the net with nothing on them. But overall, if you connect with it and and you, you're, you time the ball well, it seems like a very solid racket. Um, you don't get much lift on the ball, so my balls are dropping short anyway, even with power. When I was hitting it, I felt like it was very cleanly, um, very solid, could generate power sort of when I got it perfect in the sweet spot. Serving was... was not bad as well with it. I thought it would be a bit heavy to serve it, but it flies through the air quite nicely. And overall, a really nice racket, I think. I can see why Mario has such a good backhand with this, because the, the weight in the head just allows you to, you know, travel forwards with the ball, like penetrate the ball, and obviously an honor to play such a, such a cool racket. You know? Hope you enjoyed the video. Big thanks to the sponsor, Fussy Yellow Balls. They have this really cool app uh, with a module called Crush It which teaches you to use your kinetic chain to, to achieve more power. And uh, the serve module is free. Check out the twist rotation drill, which I've looked at myself quite a bit. And they have the same for the ground stroke. So check out the link in the description. Fast Yellow Balls to make some great products. And if you like the work I do, please subscribe. You can also join Patreon to support the channel or buy anything from the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thanks, guys. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.